Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this time, I want to share to all of you the sequel video or uh, the next video from part one. Uh, how to design the building using the ETEPS program. So, at this time, uh, this is the sequel of the video part one about uh, design building using ETEPS. For this moment, uh, we continue to the next step. But I forget to uh, set up uh, some parameter like a slab, like a beam, and a column too. So before we continue to the uh, next step, uh, we need to set up the the other parameter. So to make the setting up for parameter of the slab we need access from the uh, define menu okay and then you choose the section property and choose slab or deck section for everyone who want to uh, design the building using the ETEPS uh, ETEPS offering two model from the for the floor plate okay uh, we have to set up uh, the parameter for the floor plate by using slab section or deck section what the difference of the both of them you can uh, if you choose to design your floor plate by the conventional uh, mode uh, that is uh, you will need uh, pick the or choose slab section but if you want to design your plot using the deck section there is uh, the other parameter you have to input to the uh, slab uh, parameter so at this moment i want to use the slip section okay just click left click on your mouse and then the in your screen you will see the slab properties okay click add new property okay you uh, can uh, define the property name by default like uh, slip 2 but you can choose uh, can change the name by uh, what you want like me uh plate okay uh 150 millimeter okay the slab material we use a uh, same to column and beam 25 mpa and uh, display color change to maybe uh, a little red okay slab and then after that you can choose ok ok and then press ok again so now you have uh, two element structure on your screen on your program like a column and beam how to add the slab element on your building on your especially in that program so here we go ok for the first step you need moving your level grid of your screen to level 4 by click this up arrow okay like this and you will see okay to start drawing the area from your plate you can choose many tools like here in uh, beside the left on your screen okay you can uh, choose the second one and you can choose uh, the only one okay draw or uh, floor plan there is a uh, two type there is a difference why because if your geometry of your structure just uh, like a square you can uh, choose uh, this tool draw rectangular okay but if your geometry not a square 100% you can change the other one like this okay at the moment I used to uh, draw rectangular floor okay just left click after that you uh, need to define the material property of your uh, slab okay before we uh, already define a plate 150 millimeter okay just like here and then you can start drawing by uh, click 
the join from A5 okay, to B4 okay, next from the A4 to B3 and next okay, like here okay. Okay. at one spacing all the slab are created how to copy that for the next spacing or for the other plates just pick all the uh, slab that you created and you access from the view menu and edit okay choose replicate or for the shortcut you can uh, type on your keyboard control plus r okay you need uh, input the parameter how long that you want to copy or you want to mirror your slab at this moment you need moving copy your plate in the spacing a b to b c okay the length of that spacing is uh, five meter okay we have to make sure the length from b to c right four meter okay click all element of the slab and then access from the edit menu replicate okay at the increment data in the dx you need input for meters okay number this uh with necessary to how many uh data that you want to replicate or how many slab that you that you need to replicate from the x axis so i choose three okay here and then uh, click apply like here and okay here we go that's uh shapes or plate are created in the story one with the height four meters okay after you know how to replicate your object to uh, axis like axis x and axis y now you need to replicate your slab element for the next floor up floor in the next level okay choose all of the plate that you created and the save action okay like here you choose edit menu replicate again but at this moment you not uh, use the linear increment data okay just let it be the zero meters and number is a zero but you need to move your option to the story okay all right story okay how many story that you need to replicate your object okay i choose a story two okay and then i click apply and okay you see at your screen all parameter all have created okay how to make your object is like a realistic it's a 3d model uh, view you can access that by click here set display option okay you can choose both of them extrude frames and extrude cell after that you click apply okay and okay okay here we go you will see a screen uh, created a 3d model okay to make sure the model all created by 3d view you can change the default view by a 3d view like here like here okay and here we go you can see this is the simple model building that you created okay 
here that element of the column beam and slab okay and uh, for the next step after you have a 3d model you have a complete the element of the structure such as a column beam and slab you need to explore more about uh, it tabs okay but how to change the uh, visual of your screen now is the color can you change by click uh, set display option and in the view by color off you can choose by material or by a section property apply okay or you can change by frame design type okay like this and you will see uh, the color of your screen is a change okay or by section property like here okay extrude frame extrude cell apply and okay okay can you see at your screen like this okay here the beam uh, element column element and a slab element okay if you want to uh, need to see like a 3d rendering you can choose the view menu and show a rendered view can you see this is the reality model of your building okay there is a column okay beam and slab okay you can uh, rotate your object by click here okay rotate 3d okay like here and you can explore more okay you can see the join of the beam and column the join of the beam and slab and the both of them okay after that uh, you need to input the other parameter before your uh, next uh, step okay you can access from the define menu and choose load cases what is the load cases load cases is the parameter that you need you must input on your program okay like uh, that is the type that linear static life is a linear static and earthquake is a there's a dynamic uh, static or dynamic uh, calculation so there's a first load cases and the second load pattern okay load pattern is uh, defined about the load like the fault uh, loading that you input to make your building have a loading from the uh, dead load life load earthquake load and so on so there is the two step that we need to uh, do for the improve your ETEPS more okay I guess it's a four and if you want to need to explore more ETEPS don't hesitate feel free ask me that's all for me thank you